One big reason why I absolutely love this camera, portability, my friends. This fits in my pocket, in my jacket, in my slingshot, in any little bag that I have effortlessly. Accessibility is the name of the game here. The fact that I can carry this with me wherever I go sets this camera miles apart from all the other cameras that I have. I mean, sure, it might not outperform this X-T4 or the X-H2S which I'm shooting on right now in terms of raw performance, but the convenience of being able to carry this camera everywhere I go literally beats any other camera that I've shot in the past. And yes, my friends, even the Ricoh GR series. This right here is the Fujifilm X100F. Let's dive into four things that I would like to see in the next iteration of the X100 series. Number one, weather resistance. I would like Fujifilm to put weather resistance in the camera without the need of an adapting ring to make it actually weather resistant or at least to include it in the kit. I enjoy shooting in poor weather conditions like rain or snow and knowing that my camera can take some rain, can take some snow, can take some beating puts my mind at ease. It's about time that Fujifilm blesses us with the f1.4 lenses in the next version. I mean, I'm don't get me wrong, I'm happy with the f2 that I have on the X100F, but to be entirely honest f1.4 would be much better especially in low light it would like really really make a difference and it doesn't even have to be the sharpest you know you can you can do whatever just make it 1.4 number three and this is probably the most important thing ever i would like to see autofocus on par with the xh2s because the autofocus on the x100f and apparently x100v as well i've heard it's not very good, they're like similar. I can work with it, I can take really cool pictures, but sometimes, especially when you're trying to shoot tie the group of people, it can go wrong. It can go really bleh, mess up and you get focus breathing and it never knows what to focus on, even with single point autofocus. Whether they decide to put the new processor and the new sensor that it's in the X-H2S or they go with the X-H2 and the X-T5, I don't care as long as it's improved than what we have now, but please, please put the X-H2S inside this. <laughs> and number four, last but not least, although not very, very important, I can go without it, it would be in-body internal stabilization. If you could put it in the lens, it would be better, but you know, IBIS is okay. IBIS is not necessary, but it's definitely a cool feature to have, especially when you are shooting um, at night or you want to go handheld for some video or some long exposure. But so far with the X100F, I didn't really have a problem. I can live without it. Now here are some bonus extras that could be nice to have, could be nice to remove, like video features. If by ditching video features on the new X100 series model makes the price lower, I'm all for it. I don't really need video features in that camera. But if they decide to put video features in it, I think 4K 60, 420 would be okay. If they decide to go with 4 to 2, 10 bit, that's also pretty, pretty rad, but I think it's too much. Most people would use this camera to take photos and not to shoot video. Occasional video, it's okay. Second thing that would be really, really nice to have would be the screen from the X-Pro3. Or if they could make a hybrid that would be a mix between the X100V right now that flips up and the X-Pro3 that flips down, that would be just amazing. If the new iteration checks the boxes for autofocus and weather resistance, count me in for a pre-order faster than you can say camera upgrade. What about you? Are you gonna buy it? I'm definitely into this.